Hey guys, let's get more news from Warriors, but first don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your like. Why Warriors Draymond Green Believes Nuggets Are in Trouble versus Timberwolves The Golden State Warriors season is over after their loss in the NBA play-in tournament, but that does not mean that Draymond Green is not still opining on what is taking place in the NBA playoffs. And he got real on why he believes the Denver Nuggets might be in trouble in the upcoming second-round series against the Minnesota Timberwolves. The Nuggets took the series, but I think they're in trouble, and the reason I think they're in trouble, and I said this before, I just don't think their bench is good enough, Draymond Green said on his podcast. We saw that again the other night like they're just not getting enough from their bench. And as you move forward I think the difference in this Minnesota-Denver series could be the bench. You got Naz Reed coming off the bench can play huge minutes, Kyle Anderson coming off, Monty Morris who's a great backup point guard that they're not really using much but can use. Nikhil Alexander-Walker, who's been playing great basketball. I just think the depth of the Timberwolves is going to give Denver problems, and yes the matchup between Joker and Rudy Gobert trying to guard him is huge, but I've always told you guys you win championships 6 through 10, not 1 through 5. The Timberwolves finished as the number 3 seed in the Western Conference, one game behind the number 2 seed Nuggets. It will be interesting to see if the home court advantage comes into play for this series. The two are evenly matched based on how they played in the regular season. The experience of the defending champion Nuggets obviously is something to factor in, but the Timberwolves have taken a huge step this year with Anthony Edwards cementing himself as a superstar, along with the impact that Rudy Gobert and Carl Anthony Towns make. The matchup between Nikola Jokic and Rudy Gobert will obviously be the one that catches the most attention, specifically when it comes to Gobert guarding Jokic. On that end of the floor, that is arguably the most important matchup when the starting units are in the game. If Gobert can hold his own defensively, it would be huge for the Timberwolves. On the offensive end of the floor for the Timberwolves, that matchup will not be as pressing, as other options like Anthony Edwards and Carl Anthony Towns will be options for scoring. This is arguably going to be one of the most hyped and interesting series this postseason. The Nuggets are trying to prove that their experience will reign, while the Timberwolves are trying to make a statement that they have arrived and are a title contender. Warrior Stephen Curry drops happy take on chasing Clay Thompson's three-point record. Stephen Curry holds the NBA all-time three-point record. However, there is one specific three-point record that Curry is still trailing in. Despite having made the most long-range shots ever, it is Curry's Golden State Warriors teammate Clay Thompson who holds the record for most three-pointers in a single game. In 2018, Thompson made 14 three-point shots in a game against the Chicago Bulls. Thompson's electric performance led Golden State to a 149-124 victory over Chicago. Curry was recently asked if he believes he will ever surpass Thompson's record during a segment on the NBA's YouTube channel, via Clutch Points. It's going to be tough, Curry said. I got 12 two or three times I think, or something like that. And 13 once, so 14 is in the cards, but I'm happy that he's the one that has the record. And I'm chasing nobody else. Curry made 13 three-pointers in a game against the New Orleans Pelicans in 2016. During the same season, he made 12 three-pointers versus the Oklahoma City Thunder. He has accomplished each feat once, but has made 11 three-pointers in a single game on 11 separate occasions, via StatMuse. Curry may be 36 years old, but he still has plenty left in the tank. It would not be surprising to see him catch fire in a game and tie or surpass Thompson's record. There is a chance that Thompson will depart from the Warriors in NBA free agency during the upcoming offseason. Nothing is guaranteed at the moment, though. It will be the end of an era if Thompson finds a new home for the 2024-25 season. Curry and Thompson have been one of the most lethal backcourt duos in the NBA for years now. The Warriors have built a dynasty around both players. Of course, Draymond Green has played a pivotal role in the dynasty as well. 
Kevin Durant also led Golden State to two championships during his brief time with the Warriors. Overall, Golden State has won four championships during the Splash Brothers era. Steph and Clay are incredibly familiar with each other's games. Seeing Curry, Thompson, or Green in any other uniform would feel odd to say the least. Thompson was asked about his future following the Warriors' NBA play-in tournament defeat. He had no interest in discussing it at the time, though. What's up with y'all not wanting to live in the present? To be honest, I really have not given it much thought because of what I previously said about the season we had and how much commitment it takes to play the games we did and give it our all, Thompson said, via Dalton Johnson of NBC Sports Bay Area. So, I really have not thought about that deep into the future because I still need to process the year we had. It was one filled with ups and downs. It will be interesting to see what the future holds for Stephen Curry, Clay Thompson and the Warriors. Golden State Warriors insider makes shocking case for a potential summer reunion with Kevin Durant. There is definitely change coming to the Golden State Warriors this offseason, and one prominent team insider believes a reunion with the man who won back-to-back -back NBA Finals MVPs is a real possibility this summer. There is no other way to say it than the 2023-24 season for the Warriors was a massive disappointment. While they were not viewed as serious title contenders heading into the season, few expected them to miss the playoffs entirely after falling to the Sacramento Kings in the NBA play-in tournament. Having the largest payroll in the league at $224 million only makes their season results all the more disastrous, and that is why there are sure to be changes to the roster this summer. Clay Thompson is expected to test his value in free agency, and both Andrew Wiggins and Draymond Green will likely find their names tossed into trade speculation in the months ahead. However, while some longtime veterans of the franchise could be playing elsewhere next season, NBC Sports Golden State Warriors reporter Monty Poole believes a reunion with Kevin Durant could be possible too. And the Summer Olympics may be where conversations about the idea begin. Any moves the Warriors make this summer will be out of extreme urgency to maximize the Curry window. In short, adding a plug-and-play star, Poole wrote this week. Durant and Curry will reunite in July as members of Team USA. Steve, Kerr, is the head coach. Assuming no movement in the interim, they will have almost six weeks to engage in conversation and reminiscence. Warriors owner Joe Lacob, who already committed to retiring Durant's number, might be willing to personally lay the red carpet for KD's return. A KD Warriors reunion is not as far-fetched as it might seem, he continued, it's more conceivable than consummating a deal with LeBron James, something the Warriors pondered in February. The 14-time All-Star and the Phoenix Suns were also a disappointment this season and there has already been speculation he could look to find his way out of town in the months ahead. Especially if they do not move on from head coach Frank Vogel. Since leaving the Warriors in 2019, Durant has seen how difficult it is to create a serious title contender with Brooklyn and Phoenix. Since the Warriors did make a serious push to trade for LeBron James earlier this year, it would make a lot more sense to bring Kevin Durant back due to the previous success he has had in Golden State and because he is still playing at an elite level. Another key question in a potential deal is do the Golden State Warriors have assets the Suns would covet in a trade? That will be up for much debate. And you fan, what do you think of the Kevin Durant situation? Leave your opinion in the comments.